You are welcome to my YouTube channel, Everything Medical. Today's video is more of orientation. We shall be unveiling five key things that a medical student or a paramedical student must do to pass corrosively in their exams, right? So if you are coming across my channel the first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and also share our video. Let's dive into the, the class. Number one is attending lectures or attending classes whichever one let me tell you lectures are so much important in medical school although some school have made it to be 70 percent attendance for you to write a professional exam right but it does not end in that that criteria attending lectures is so much important some lecturers or almost all the lecturers do unveil their exam questions or even give a of consideration why they are teaching. So why should you miss lectures? Why should you miss classes? Don't be a student that will say, I will borrow note or I will use my friend's note that goes to lectures to make up my own note. It does not work that way. Most of that your friend will not even jot accurately. They won't even jot the important point, right? So you have to attend lectures. Hear from the horse's smart, which is the lecturer. There are some things that you don't understand or you, you do not comprehend as you are reading. But since you are attending the lectures, you have to understand them because while you are studying, your brain will be giving you the view on how the lecturer said it in class. So you have to attend lectures. Lectures are so much important for, for you as a medical student or a paramedical student. Do not miss lectures. Don't say that I'm not a lecture type. I don't like attending lectures. No, it doesn't work that way, right? Stick to your class. Attend lectures so that you hear from the horse's mouth. You know what the lecturer is saying. You hear from him or her. Say it so that you can write it in your exam. The number two is leave in a semester or leaving in a semester before the semester arrives. Yes, it might sound so crazy, right? Now, here is what it means. Now, what it means is you have to start preparing early. Start getting materials early. Do not wait to the end of the semester before you start getting materials. As you, are in, as you are in first semester, start searching for material or searching for material for the second semester, right? Ask your chiefs. Your chiefs have materials. They have the materials, right? So you have to get it from them. Keep them in your, in your lodge or in your, in your library, or whichever way. So that once you are finishing your exams for the first semester, the material for the second semester is already with you. So that you start early. Most students fail exam because they do not start early. And you have to know that poor preparation leads to poor performances, right? So when you start early, because they say that early bed catches the warm. Right? When you start early, you discover that you cover topics, you cover scheme of work. Do not say that I'm not a type that start early. I I don't I don't like uh, disturbing myself and all that. Medical school is already a stress. So don't say that I don't like I don't like stressing myself. The stress is is, all, is there is constant for you. So why wait so longer? Get materials early. Start early so that you will cover things before the exam approaches. Do not be overwhelmed, right? Because those that start early don't get overwhelmed because they have already covered, they have the scheme of work in their palm, right? So live in a semester before the semester comes by starting early and start to prepare, prepare early, right? The next one is joining discussion group. That is the third one join discussion group discussions are so much important i've explained it in my previous video right discussion is so much important for you to retain vividly and strongly as a medical student or a paramedical student discussions will help you to retain them when you discuss topics often and often time you, you will discover that the topic will stick it will not leave your memory anymore so why don't you abide the idea of of joining discussion group if you don't want to join education group, then get a whiteboard and keep in your hostel or in your lodge, whichever way. So that after reading those bucket things, you go and teach yourself 
or better still join the discussion group so that you will give him a task to come and present, you will teach, you will give a review of a topic. It will stick more. Do not say that I don't like joining discussion group or I don't like associating. Let me tell you something. As a student, you must associate. You can't do it alone. You have to associate because some, some things will be unveiled as you guys are discussing in that circle. So, and join discussion group. It will help you a lot, right? The next one is practice past question. Yes, this is so much important. Past question is so good as a medical student or as a paramedical student. But the idea of, of going with past question is not for you to come up. It's for you to know the type of the question structure that do come out in that course, right? Do not have 100% hope that a question you practice will come out. No. The essence is for you to know how to get prepared. How are their questions being structured? That is the essence. Because when they ask you, write short notes on this particular structure, and you don't know the concept of, write to, uh, of uh, writing short notes, and you saw uh, and you saw it in exam. You come and write to learn and leave. You have failed it, right? So go with past question. Look at the essay questions. Look at the MCQ questions. Look at the OSQ questions or the simple test questions, so that you know how to get prepared for this paper, right? Practice past question. Ask your chiefs. Every school have past question. Even if a school don't repeat past question, right? But just see so that you know the question structure. You are advantage when you see a question that you have seen before, or when you know the question structure of this course. You, you don't get overwhelmed when when you see them in exam hall because you are, you came prepared, right? That is the essence of practice past question. It's, it's not for you to come at an exam. It's for you to know how to prepare as you are reading, how to get prepared for these lecturers, right? The last one in the list is funny, but it's important. Avoid sleeping too much. Yes. Sleep is an inhibitive factor that is affecting students in their studies. Some students sleep for eight hours. Some sleep for 10 hours. Are you a student? Like, are you for real? Know the hours you sleep. Two hours, one hour is good. Because you have things to, to cover. When you see a student that made distinctions, that made A's, do you think that him or her don't have disciplines and things that they are enthroned? So you have to know what that works for you. For you to be an outstanding student or a student, you have to deploy these measures. These measures are so brilliant and intelligent, right? So here comes the end of this orientation. And they want to share this video so that other students will benefit from it. Thank you so much for, for sticking to the end. I appreciate it.